You see those flashy ads, the ones promising quick cash, easy money? You know, the ones with that guy, Albert, grinning like he just won the lottery? They make it seem like money's about to rain down on your bank account just for signing up. But let's be real for a second. Does Albert actually send money to your bank account? Think about it. If it were that simple, wouldn't everyone be rich by now? There's gotta be a catch, right? We're diving deep into the world of Albert, uncovering the truth behind those shiny promises. We're talking about the fine print, the hidden fees, and whether you're actually going to see a dime. So, you've probably heard of Albert, the app that claims to be your financial sidekick. It promises early paychecks, budgeting tools, and even cash advances. But here's the burning question. How does Albert make money? Because let's face it, no one is doing this out of the goodness of their hearts. They offer a few services, like fee-based overdraft protection and cash advances. But let's break it down. Overdraft protection? Sounds helpful, right? But those fees can add up faster than you can say, broke. And cash advances? Sure, you get money fast, but you'll pay it back, plus interest. It's like borrowing money from a friend who's really good at math. Now, let's talk about those early paychecks. It sounds like a dream come true, right? Get your money before payday? Sign me up. But there's usually a catch. Some services charge a fee for this, and others might hold a portion of your paycheck as collateral. It's like getting a loan, but with extra steps. So, does Albert send money to your bank account? Technically, yes. But is it free money? Absolutely not. It's a financial tool with its own set of pros and cons. It can be helpful for managing your money, but it's essential to understand how it works before you dive in. Don't get me wrong, budgeting apps can be game changers. But remember, they're tools, not magic wands. You still need to put in the effort to make your finances work for you. So, before you sign up for anything, do your research. Read the fine print, understand the fees, and weigh the pros and cons. And remember, financial freedom isn't about getting quick cash, it's about making smart choices and building a solid financial foundation. With that said, Thanks for watching and until next time.